Hi, thank you for joining me today. So good for you to be here. In this episode of The Bearded Woodworker, we're going to install an outlet on an exterior wall. On the screen, I will put a list of materials so you can accomplish this job too. Again, thank you so much for being here. Stick around, we'll be back. Thanks, Bob, for that intro. <laughs> I'm at my father-in-law's house, and we're going to put an exterior plug right here in this wall. It's going to be pretty simple because inside of the house, um, it's in the garage, so everything's kind of exposed. I just have to remove a panel. But I'm going to show you how I do it. Let's go. Inside, right now. So this should be fairly easy. He has an outlet right here in the garage. And I am just going to run a wire and feed off of this one right into this wall here, which on the other side is the exterior. So first, let's get rid of this. And now I'm going to start off by marking out the hole that we're going to cut. Drill four holes, one in each corner. Then I'm gonna take my jigsaw and connect the dots. Now we'll take the drill and drill four holes. And now we put the box in. And now we tighten these screws and that'll move the flap on the other side. You don't want to put a lot of pressure, you'll break it. I'll show you what the flap does.
you don't have a pair of these, I recommend them. <laughs> no matter how much or little electrical you do. I'll have a link in the description below where you can pick these up on Amazon. Check it. Awesome. Not sure if this is the right outlet to use. This is what he has. Again, I'm at my father-in-law's. Um, we're just going to go with it. Hooking up the ground. And on the back, it even tells you this is the hot wire, which is you're black, and this one says it's white. That one right there. that wonder if it should have gone up and down he's got one on his house now that's sideways and I have them on my house that's sideways too And I should mention that it's also under four foot cover, so it's not going to get any direct rain. Now it's time to see if I can drill a hole through all these <clears throat> so that the uh, wire can go through. Try to do it without moving the washing machine.
So next, what I really should do is use the uh, staples, big, large staples, and <laughs> staple these wires to the studs. But I forgot to bring some, and he doesn't have any here. And we've got bridge construction going on right now, and it's too much of a hassle to go back. I already forgot my drill bit, so I had to go back to get that. I should have thought about the staples before. So anyways, I'm going to close it up as soon as I turn on the breaker, see if the power works. Power here. Let's check outside. Power here. Awesome, there you have it. Simple little fix to put an exterior outlet in your wall. You might not be so lucky to have exposed electricity like I did for the garage in here, but uh, you can always cut out uh, small little sections of drywall or plywood, whatever you have, connect everything, put it back and patch it back up again. All I have to do now is put that panel back in, but you guys don't need to see that. This is Gary, the Bearded Woodworker. Thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up, I'm out.